One day left. Tomorrow is the deadline to file your individual tax returns or request an automatic extension. Now, if you owe money, then regardless of your extension, you still need to pay by tomorrow or face stiff penalties. Always best to uh, double check your return before filing with the IRS. Crown Force Philippe Jagal joins us now with a one more tax uh, trick you should know, I guess, huh? Yeah, that's right, Vicki. Tax experts say that one of the most common forms of fraud that people commit is by marking someone down as a dependent who really isn't a dependent. It doesn't matter the relationship between the two people, son, daughter, same-sex partner, if caught. San Francisco-based tax consultant Lionel Mayrand says this can result in an up to $2,000 fine or in extreme cases, jail time. With electronic filing, it's almost always caught. And the way the system works is the first person to hit, to hit the system is the one who will claim it. So if I'm, um, let's say I'm uh, divorced, which is common, and my wife is claiming the children, then, um, and I go ahead and claim them, but whoever has custody has has the has the uh, right to claim them, and that doesn't so stop if if you file a false claim, the first one is going to be approved. But then when the second person comes along, there's going to be an investigation. The IRS, the official position of the IRS is that all nieces and nephews are fraudulent. Mayran says those caught doing this can also be barred from earned income credit. He says this can also trigger an audit. We'll have more about what he had to say on this issue tonight at 11 when I'm sure many of you out there are going to still, still be working, working on, on taxes. taxes. Good information. Do not mess with the IRS. Thanks, Philippe.